Hey, welcome back. Glad to see you've all returned, and in one piece, no less. Huh? What do you mean? Inside the wound on your chest. That means you've been carrying around the shard almost your entire life. I, we had no idea. Ah, notice the stumble in his words. Your uncle has been keeping secrets, I think. Silence, Bishop. I don't know if I'm the best one to be telling you this. But if you've got one of those shards in you, I think you've earned the right to hear everything. Dagon probably already told you, but when you were an infant, West Harbor was the site of a battle, a terrible battle. The King of Shadows himself led an army of demons against the Neverwinter Army, which had gathered at the village. West Harbor was struck suddenly without warning. There was panic, confusion, villagers fleeing every which way to escape the battle. But Dagon's wife Shayla and your mother Esmeril did not. They stayed behind to save you. As demons and mage fire rained upon the village, they fought to reach your crib. By the time Dagon even realized they were missing, it was too late. He could only watch from a distance as the village was consumed in the battle. It wasn't my decision to keep what happened to your mother from you, and my brother would be furious, I told you. I guess he... he thought it would be too much for you. In any case, when the few that remained returned to the village, no one was alive. Except you. Your mother was there. So much blood, and you were clutched in her bosom. A deep wound in your chest. She tried to shield you, but the shard must have cut through her and into you. No one knew how you survived, but you did, and your wound sealed itself within days, leaving the scar that you still bear. But if that wound was due to the shard that pierced you, then that raises many questions, and I'm afraid I'm just all out of answers. It's been with me for a long time. I am glad I could finally speak of it. Why the long faces, you two? Somebody die? If so, sounds like a cause for celebration to me. Grobnar, you worthless half-man. Strike up a tune before I strike you. Of course, Sir Bishop. It so happens I have just the tune. By the way, I've decided it would be in both our interests if I stay on with you. Well, if I am welcome, then I will help myself to a fair share of adventure and danger. Traveling with you is the most fun I've had in years. We don't need any more of your help. No, no, there's no need, Bishop. I'm sorry for before, but you've done more than... Oh, come now, Duncan, I still owe you. And what better way to make it up to you than watching your kin here? After all, a debt is a debt, all the way until the end. Isn't that right? I hate to ask, but what happens now? I can't go back to my farm, ashes and all. Careful. Any more compassion out of you and it could kill me. Oh, well, if we just need her to get into the Haven, oh, that's fine then. That, I can understand. If that is your decision, so be it. But it is her decision as well, since it endangers her. I really appreciate the sudden interest from the both of you. But I can take care of myself. Besides, Whenever I'm alone, that's when the problems seem to crop up. If she's going to be with us, she'll need to do some catching up. We can't just keep on rescuing her all the time. Rescuing me? I can rescue myself. Sometimes, when there's not too many lizard men or Gith Yankee. Well, I know enough to use a sword, and I can handle myself in a fight. I mean, I'm no spellcaster, but if you need an extra blade... I admit, you've rescued me twice now, and if you're going to help teach me to survive these attacks, I accept. But there's some things you're going to have to accept, too. I don't like being left behind, because whenever you're out of my sight, suddenly all this trouble starts happening, and I'm really tired of it. So, look. I won't try to get in your way or anything, but I don't want us to part ways again. I've... I've, well, lost too much already. You're not leaving me behind, alright? Then that's all I ask. So the farm girl's going to join our band. Good. We need someone to make up for the paladin. Or at least to catch arrows if Grobnar's already dead. For now, I say we crack some of those kegs and drown the flagon in wine. <laughs>